What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over some Minecraft tips and tricks that you can use in your game. We're pretty much just going to jump straight into it today, starting with some building hacks and moving on to more general tips for better gameplay. First, let's start with all of the cool things that you can do with a campfire. Starting with number one, campfires can give you a really realistic looking chimney. All you have to do is place a campfire and surround it with trapdoors, and then you can add stone walls or slabs on top if your heart desires. Campfires are also great for mimicking destroyed wooden planks. For example, you can replace the occasional block with a campfire or just create an entire bridge out of campfires and then right click with a shovel to put out the fire. Using put out campfires is also a great way to add texture to a roof, and they don't just look great from above, but from below as well. For a realistic looking pool, you can simply place campfires and cover them with slabs, and after that, just fill it with water. For some other building tips, if you want to brighten up the area around your base without just randomly placing torches everywhere, we recommend hiding torches with moss carpet. This way you can illuminate the surroundings at night, keep monsters away, and still have a nice view without being bothered by the sight of the torches. Do you want to build an aquarium for your axolotl or fish? Sure, you could build a regular glass aquarium, but instead, you can use mangrove leaves to create a natural, physics-defying aquarium. Place two leaves on top of each other, then regular water on top, and place your animal below. Now you just have to replace the bottom block and then mine it. A great way to showcase your armor could be a glass display case. To do this, you'll first need an armor stand embedded in the ground with a few blocks, ideally glass, and then you can push them down with a piston. Place a trapdoor on top and you've got yourself a cool display case for your helmets. Next up, floating lanterns. In any good building project, there's at least one lantern hiding, or maybe hundreds, but what you might not have known is that you can create the illusion of floating lanterns using just one piece of glass. Combine this with trapdoors and you can craft yourself some flying lanterns. A great way to mimic the look of pipes is to use pistons. You can incorporate them into your design and you can easily add realistic looking pipes to your build without much effort. Want better reeds for your pond? Then place a few brown candles on a block of your choice. Replace this block with another one of your choice, like sugarcane. Now let's kill two birds with one stone, a carpet that also keeps monsters at bay. If you place berry bushes underground and lay a carpet on top, you can keep all of the monsters away from your creations. Okay, that's it for building heavy tips, but now let's get into some useful gameplay tricks that can make your game easier. Torches are the best method for quickly mining sand blocks. Essentially, they work on any block affected by gravity. While shovels are also a good choice, they're not as effective as torches. And for endermen, if you trigger them and place a boat in front of them and lure them in, they won't be able to move anymore. If you didn't know, cats can't take fall damage in Minecraft. Whether they fall from a tree or land on a stalagmite, they're immune to all damage. If you want to have a little fun, you'll need a fox, a leash, berries, and of course, an invisibility throwing potion, and you'll be walking berries like a pet. Next time you go to the mines, bring along some moss and some bone meal. If you place moss and use bone meal on it, all stone blocks close to the moss will also turn into moss except for the ores. Did you know that you can change the color of a beacon? Just put some stained glass over it and there you go. You can even mix multiple glass blocks to get some gradients or different colors. And what about the fact that tracks actually trap cats, chickens, and even creepers? Using a cauldron, you can remove the dye from an item at any time. Just fill the cauldron with water and then use it with the item you want to decolor. And finally, if you've ever taken a screenshot in the game and found that it never quite looks as good as the ones you see online, try changing the field of view setting to 30 and increasing the render distance, and just don't forget to revert the settings afterwards. Well guys, that's it for today, so make sure to try out some of these tips, and if you get a picture, don't forget to tag us and show us what you do. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.